you guys asked for it. Today, I am finally reviewing the R32 GTR, the car that was originally dubbed Godzilla for its unruly performance in 1989. And this one, well, it's anything but stock. So let's go ahead and fire her up, listen to what she sounds like, and take her for a rip. <laughs> generation of Nissan GTR was made from 1989 to 1994. The craziest part is this power plant. What a lot of people don't realize is the R32 GTR actually makes the same power as the R34. It's got the infamous RB26 motor, 2.6 liter twin turbocharged inline six that makes 276 horsepower and 260 pound feet of torque. But what no one is talking about is the R32 weighs 2,778 pounds and the R34 weighs 3,400. So this car actually has a better power to weight ratio than the more famous car. Now I'll agree, the R32 is pretty, but it's not quite as good looking as the R34. And due to aerodynamics as well as a wheelbase change, the R34 accelerates a little quicker. But what's crazy about this car is you can actually do this really cheap little mod uh, there's a wastegate actuator restrictor in the car. There was a gentleman's agreement in Japan that limited the horsepower to 280. But all you have to do, and it's a free modification, is remove that restrictor and boom, you've instantly got 320 horsepower. This one though, makes 700 at the wheels. This engine is a legitimate work of art, guys. So it still has a stock bottom end despite making 700 horsepower to the wheels. It's got an upgraded Garrett turbo. It's got new cams. It's got a new exhaust manifold, a new intercooler, new injectors. This car actually runs on E85. To give you a good idea of exactly how fast this car is, it trapped 141 miles an hour in the quarter mile. You guys remember my supercharged Huracan? That trapped 139 miles an hour at 9.9 .9 seconds. This car doesn't have a double clutch transmission. It's a manual. It's really an old car, yet it's un unbelievably fast. I can't wait to drive it guys. Inside of the GTR now, now this is the first car with a manual transmission and right hand drive that I've ever driven and honestly after about two minutes you actually get used to it right away. The car originally of course was made in Japan, a right hand drive country. It was also exported to only right hand drive areas like Australia that we're in now, New Zealand, Hong Kong and eventually the United Kingdom. The only thing I mess up is not the shifter with the left hand, it's the fact that the windshield wipers as well as the turning indicators are on opposite sides. So every time I reach for the turning indicator, I accidentally flip the windshield wipers. But check this out, look how much room there is in the back. The R32 is a pretty small vehicle, but the fact that you can actually fit a full-size adult in the back is unbelievable. Check out the amount of headroom I have. It's really comfortable back here. Now if I go ahead and pull the driver's seat into the position that I was driving, I still have plenty of leg room as well. Unbelievable. As you guys know, there's been major bushfires in Australia at the moment. It's probably the worst bushfire we've ever experienced here. We've burnt off land probably the size of Belgium at the moment, I think. And it's affected the wildlife, all the people, all the families that have been affected. And it's really affected us both. I visited here, I've fallen in love with this country instantly. The people, the culture, the cars, the animals are unbelievable. And to see, I mean, obviously I can kind of relate it's nowhere near to the degree, and the Southern California fires were terrifying, yeah, but this is literally 500 million animals have died. Now, I think what hits closest to home with us is the wildlife. We wanted to actually go to the fires and feed koalas and supply food, water for both people and the animals, and actually uh, help out the shelters. Unfortunately, there's tons and tons of roadblocks, roads the obviously way, going yeah. into a fire. We didn't want to get in the way of firefighters, so on and so forth. So me and the man, Big Zilla, uh, we tried to do our part in the, mm -hmm. in the way that we could by donating some money to the Red Cross Foundation of Australia that's helping support the fire. So guys, the local fire brigade I don't ask for much. I, I'm not trying to ask for money, but if this video can save just one animal, honestly, yeah. it's worth it. So just I've one got one bottle of water for one thirsty koala. Literally, I've, that's it. Yeah, the koala is the cutest thing, dude. So, and there was the video of the animals along the fence. They were trying to get out of the fence, and the fire caught up to them, and it got them. That's what hit me personally. It, it actually animals are so defenseless. And yeah, I think anyone that harms animals, anything when animals are harmed, it's a big like. It's a big no no for me. So I've got a link in the description below. Uh, anything helps, even the smallest amount helps. And I want to show that the Vehicle Virgins family, the automotive community all over the world can help support Australia in a time of need.
We spend $15 on food, $100 on food. We can spare a bit of money to give it to the people that need money and need it, actually need it for their families. Let's do it. So Let's make a difference, much. guys. Seriously, I'm really excited about this opportunity that I have a voice, I have an audience that can make an impact. Cool. Let's check out the R32, make a difference in Australia. In the driver's seat of the R32 GTR with my friend Josh in the passenger seat, who drives one of the sickest E46 M3s ever. Honestly, there's some interesting similarities between the two cars in terms of the steering feel and the way it drives. I'm shocked, guys. This car drives so nice. This is the last year of the R32, 1994, but uh, for a 1989 to 1994 car to feel like this, to have steering feel uh, this intense, this heavy, feel like it's gripped to the ground and this exciting to drive, I, I honestly had no idea. It's funny, because on the inside, the interior, honestly, it's really, really ugly. It looks like kind of a cheap, old, Japanese car like a Toyota Corolla or something like that yet it's so fast and so good to drive so some of the cool things about the car it's got unbelievable technology for its time it has this active all-wheel drive system called a Tessa where it's actually rear-wheel drive uh, most of the time and then when it senses wheel slip it switches to all-wheel drive on demand then it's got this system called high cast that's a all-wheel steering system. Yes, that's right. In 1989, you guys pointed it out in the video, the R34 GTR wasn't the first one with all-wheel steering. The R32 had all-wheel steering, only it doesn't work very well. So a very common modification is to delete that. We've got a light up on the dash that says high cast meeting. Well, it's not activated right now because apparently it can activate at kind of random times, which obviously isn't safe whatsoever. And uh, yeah, we don't want to crash this beautiful, beautiful car. I cannot wait to, the reason I brought Josh in the car is because it's 700 horsepower to the wheels in a 2,780 pound car. Yeah, it's really freaking fast, dude. Get ready. Yeah, <laughs> it's, this car is ridiculous. I honestly think um, if my McLaren had a slower gearbox, this would be faster than my McLaren on race gas. That, that's how quick this is. And it honestly is, is more shocking to me because it's such an old car. It doesn't seem like it would be that fast, but you get on the gas and well, you'll see, you'll see. I will highly consider buying either an R32 or an R34. I want you guys to leave a comment in the comment section below. What would you rather see on the channel? An R32 build or an R34? I'm honestly in love with these cars. They're so good to drive. They're easily modifiable. They look cool and they got space in the back. I mean, this car for 1989 had power folding mirrors. The technology is wild. And honestly, I don't care as much about the technology as I do this acceleration feel. All right, come on, booze. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, so I'm not shifting into third uh, really aggressively because it's making about the max power that it can for a stock transmission and a stock bottom end. Don't really want to hit red line, but red line's at 8K. We got to uh, 7,500 and that was pretty freaking fast. I know there's going to be tons of comments like, you didn't even get on it. What are you even doing? But trust me, guys, this car is ridiculous. It's scary fast. Uh, honestly, in love with the car. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. I mean, driving in Australia uh, with some awesome friends in such an amazing car. It's really an experience I'm never going to forget. I have to come back to this place. So guys, if you live in Australia and you've got something unique, send me a message on Instagram to Vehicle Virgins. It's at Vehicle Virgins on Instagram. Send me a DM. I do open them. Obviously, that's how I met up with these guys to get uh, the R32 and the R34. I'd love to feature your car. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. And I think uh, we got to end on an acceleration pull. Let's do it.